Odd Cock Productions presents. All I know is Boban was raised by a trainee in Indonesia. I looked out. The field was, it looked like a million, million and a half people. And you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts. The side of history they don't want you to hear. The reason I have many conservative values is because I have a brain and I know how to use it. Alternative history, written for and by winners. As men age, they often experience a slowdown in vitality, energy, and wellness. In layman's terms, your stiffy gets limp. By stimulating the production of cyclic guanamine monophosphate, which allows enlargement of the arterial walls, you'll be back in shape in no time, cowboy. Vitriol by Boner's Oasis. What are you waiting for? We're back. Eagle Simkins here to give you your daily briefing. Uh, you were just listening to an ad for Vitriol by Boner's Oasis. And uh, Dr. Edward Snowflocky and, and his team of chemists down there make excellent products. Uh, we've been using over here at Alternative History. I see Tim nod his head over there. Uh, I, I used to use it before I go on air, but I had to stop because it, it would feel like my balls would uh, spontaneously combust. And I just had so much energy. Uh, now, I was over to control. I, I couldn't even focus. Uh, but let's get back to the briefing for the day. Uh, the newest uh, conspiracy from the liberal wheelhouse is coming up again in light. The uh, Russian dossier compiled by a fake British spy, Christopher Steele, who uh, we've been saying this for a long time, is just completely full of it. He's full of lies. Uh, no one trusts him. And, and when he opens his mouth, uh, no one even listens. The entire intelligence community just shuttered him, which is why you know he feels compelled to get out on his own and be a, a freelance uh, spy if that's what you want to call it um but he published a report a few months ago uh that that claimed quote unquote uh the russian regime has been cultivating supporting and assisting trump for at least five years let's just take a step back here five years uh do you really think that's how mr putin operates that's not the type of game he plays Regardless, he's a he's a leader, um, and I think the reason they're speculating is that is because Trump and him do do get along. They, they never met, um, but Trump is a strong leader. Um, he's a loyal man. Um, he's he comprehends very well, and I think he knows what's going on, which is why you know our voices ha have not only been heard but already been acted upon. Um, so let's take a step back and see. Explore this conspiracy. Why would uh, Vladimir, someone like Vladimir Putin, want to uh, what's the word? Exploit uh, a strong leader like John Day Trump? Uh, well, let's see. Because uh, he's a reality uh, TV mongol. I don't think it has much to do with it. I think he's a good entertainer, uh, but I don't really think uh, that holds much sway. He's not a mind controller. I know a mind controller when I see one. Okay, that's number one. Number two, uh, he's an international businessman. Okay, well, business is business. Do you really think Trump uh, is worried about his business uh uh, doing well in 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 Moscow or Russia, I, I don't think he's fetishizing his connection. I just think he sees uh, good real estate. He knows when to pick it up, um, just like any of us. So what would you do if you had, uh, you know, money to invest? You know, we can go on for hours about that. And then third, uh, out of all people, why would they choose Sound Day Trump? Uh, you know. He was he was already running his own thing. He didn't need them. He was, uh, you know, he started uh, exposing the truth about Obama in, in 2000, 2009, 2010. And ever since then, uh, how could you how could you not revere the man? He 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 risked it all. He risked it all for us and for the truth. And uh, I don't think you can downplay that. 
what, what I do think has been getting downplayed, though, is someone like Rice Priebus, uh being a uh, central figure in the White House. First off, uh, Rice Priebus has long-standing ties with his family to the Chetska alien race. Now, we've been saying this back in, uh, for a long time. Uh, Operation Ice Bridge completely got swept under the rug, and Rice Priebus has long family ties back to that, which is... Uh, Excuse me, which is why uh, he hasn't been talked about in the media lately. But uh, we're we, we've been our heads been spinning over here because we've known all along he's been part of a Chaska along with Mitch McConnell, which is why they see eye to eye on so many policies. Uh, he doesn't like Trump very much. He sees him as a threat, and uh, Trump hasn't talked about it. But he certainly doesn't have our uh, Mr. Trump's ears, and uh, there's a reason for that. So. Rice back in 2010 was uh, reported in his home for having a uh, a liver palace, a, a place where he stores uh, livers that he's eaten. And uh, we, we've known uh, other Cheskas throughout the years, and they're, they're just sad, sorry people. There's a very dark uh, emptiness inside there, and it cannot be filled by anything. Nothing is good enough. And his next target is Trump, and, and that's what we're all kind of worried about over here. You know, Ed's uh, nodding his head back there as well because – we're, we're scared. Uh, we feel like Rice is very angry, and we feel like uh, very soon it could spiral out of control. Uh, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, we're just getting a, a breaking uh, tune over here. Uh, Ed is, is is pointing at me. Hold on one second. Mine's been on the line for about five minutes. All right, so we have a correspondent down in uh, downtown Chicago, and uh, he's just reporting the scene down there. L last time I was down there, it, it was a very uh, hellish type of environment. It's just a... A uh, satanic landscape uh, full of misery, uh, suffering. Uh, everyone's drinking boxed water uh, to poison themselves. Uh, and, and let's hear what uh, Ryan has to say. Now, now, how you doing out there, Ryan? Hey, thanks for reaching out, Joel. Uh, it's pretty bad down here. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't think it, it would turn uh, bad this quickly, but um, there, there's been a war going on for a very long time. And uh, I think Rice is mad. I think he's very mad. Um, and, and I don't really know what to do, quite frankly. Uh, I'm looking right here at Kelly, and um, and, and she can't even she can't even look at me in the eye. She, she's terrified to death. Um, uh, there was there was plenty of um, of lesbians uh, storming the streets. Uh, they're very mad. They're very upset. Um, I just hope that they uh, th they wake up and realize that this is ah uh, shit. Hold on, hold on one second. I should have right. my radiation mask. All right, Ryan, thanks for uh, reaching out. Uh, we got disconnected uh, temporarily, having some technical issues. Uh, but before we take a break, we're going to leave you with an ad from uh, HTC uh, A Supplements uh, for Brain Freak. Uh, it's a great uh, supplement. Um, it, it enhances your neural activity uh, sectors in your brain, uh, creates a mental heightened awareness and uh, overall wellness for your being. So we're going to leave you with that. Thank you.